Today we've got a meta 433 tactic for you to try out. It was recently used in one of my videos where I did a Napoli rebuild and it enabled Napoli to complete an unbeated season domestically. Oh my god! Wow! Winning 35 games and only drawing three in the league. We are gonna test out this tactic with six teams. We've got Celtic, AC Milan, Frankfurt, Portsmouth, Everton, and Tottenham Hotspur. So getting straight into the tactic, we're gonna look at the player instructions. We've got a sweeper keeper on defend, and his only instruction is tackle harder. Both our centre backs are on ball playing and defend, dribble more, close down less often, and tackle harder. We've got two wing backs who are playing on support, cross less often, shoot less often, sit narrower, tackle harder. We've got a defensive midfielder with tackle harder and Mark Titer. Two central midfielders with the same instructions, get further forward and tackle harder. We've got two inside forwards as well on attack. Their only additional instructions are sit narrow and tackle harder. And the advance forward up top with only tackle harder on. Now the mentality is attacking. In possession we want shorter passing, pass into space, play out of the defence, low crosses, run at defence, focus down the wings and a higher tempo. In the transition section we want counter press and counter and roll it out and then it's a higher defensive line, a high press line of engagement, prevent the short pass and trigger press much more often. We are going to test this tactic out with the previous six teams mentioned that we might be in for some surprises but let's see how the tactic gets on. So we've finished simulating the season and one incredible season by our Premier League teams. We've got Tottenham, who only lost two games in the league to Man City and Chelsea away. 92 points, won the Premier League. What? Won the FA Cup, won the Carabao Cup. They've never seen so many trophies in their life. I so, mean, you know, let's, let's not take the piss here. I, I certainly wasn't. Well, I think you are. But it... Unreal from Spurs. Not only that, Everton, who started on a six point deduction as we can see there. It is fourth. They've got Champions League. <laughs> Looking at the overall stats for the season as well. Dominic Calvert-Lewin got 24. Hilminson got 21, so our strikers did very well. Dan Juma also won the assist with 12. Looking individually though, Son got 26 and four assists. Brendan Johnson got 22 and 12. That's with only starting 27 games as well. That's incredible by him uh, richardson got 19 11 madison 14 and 15 very good kulazeski 12 and 9 he's probably the one that started over brennan johnson but brennan johnson just really really took it took over pedro porro with 13 assists from right back very good now looking at everton dominic calvert lewin got 25 goals and one assist beto got 12 as well which is pretty good for the games he played dan juma and jack harris did very good 12 assists each 10 and 12 goals. Uh, James Garner got 11 goals as well from central midfield. And now looking at Portsmouth as well, we can see that they have got promoted through the playoffs. Won on pens actually. Did very well throughout the season, dropped down a little bit, managed to recover back up and then finished in the playoffs and won it. And they've got some very good stats as well. Callum Lang, 14 and 14, that's very good. 18 for the striker. We've got Frankfurt who finished fifth which is good, got Europa League football, it's better than what they expected. I expected them to do maybe a little bit better in the Conference League. That was eventually won by Florentina. Getting knocked out in the round of 16 by Fenerbahce isn't the best, and in the Palcao as well. Only getting to the quarterfinal and knocked out by a team in the division below, who actually ended up, they ended up getting to the final and Stuttgart man managed to win it. Frankfurt missed out on a big chance there to uh, win the Palkal, considering the teams that were left in the cup. Now we're looking at AC Milan. They've won the league, clear of their rivals. They were very consistent throughout the league, up in first for a long time. They reached the quarterfinal of the Champions League, which is what they were expected. Knocked out by Barcelona. They are a decent team. A little bit disappointed with the Italian Cup as well, though. They probably should have beaten Florentina. But Florentina did have a good season and Florentina went on to win it as well. So they won that and the Europa Conference League. 
And finally, we've got Celtic. Absolutely ran away with the league. 102 points. 93 goal difference. And they actually made it through in the Champions League group stage. Real Madrid ended up winning it. Uh, they faced PSG in the round of 16, which is a tough draw to say the least but in the group stage they actually managed to knock out Bayern Munich and qualified with Real Madrid in second place and as we can see there as well AC Milan also knocked out Arsenal and Celtic actually beat Real Madrid 2-1 as well beating Lazio twice drew against Bayern Munich and then lost to Real Madrid and Bayern Munich Bayern Munich just didn't do enough they lost to Real Madrid both times we're going to check out the goals from uh, Tottenham's FA Cup semi-final win over Man City so a strong counter, Son wins the ball and he is going to slot it away. It looked like a great finish to be honest on his weak foot as well. Now it's coming down the left, Udogi getting very involved. He's going to play it to the back post and Kulazeski is going to pull it away. Playing down the wings again, Pedro Porro and uh, Kulazeski linking up. Many passes between the two players and Kulazeski puts it away with a very nice finish. And then it goes all the way to the end of the game, Udogi on the ball again. Saar plays it to Oliver Skip, Bentoncourt puts it away. All three of our central midfielders are involved for that goal. Now the FA Cup final where we beat Arsenal of all teams 3-0. With these stats as well they didn't even allow them to have a shot on target with this team by the way. The ball finds itself on the wing again. Pedro Porro is going to pull it into the mixer. Richarlison at the back post headers it. That is what seems to be the meta in this uh, football manager. A lot of crosses to the back post. Again, Udogi's got it on the wing. Plays it to Pesuma. Madison on the edge. Finds Pedro Porro. Benton Core. Wingers very evolved. Even though they're on support, they are very high up the pitch. And now the final goal is high pressure up there. Madison finds Saar. And he puts it away. From outside the box like we said before Everton even managed to make the semi-final they were quite unlucky to not have two teams in the FA Cup they lost out on penalties to Arsenal but they've got some fantastic results here 1-0 at Anfield obviously amazing for Everton beating Newcastle 4-0 at home 3-1 at Old Trafford did the double over Liverpool actually beat them 2-1 as well beat Man City at the Etihad 2-1 beat Chelsea 6-1 at Stamford Bridge so the patterns of play seem to be similar Throughout the teams as well. Danjuma, who play, who's playing on the wing, picks it up. Fantastic finish, by the way, from that far out. Now Michaelenko's got it on the wing. Garner's supporting him. A lot of support for these wingers. Look how high they are as well. Two left at the back. Garner puts it away. We're attacking with eight players. Now Godfrey's picked it up. Played it into Idrissa Gay. McNeil from the wing. Great finish. And finally, Patterson's got it on the wing again. Let's see what he can do with the ball. He puts it into the middle. Quite a few ricochets and Calvert-Lewin puts it away to end the game 4-0. Now finally, we'll take a quick look at Portsmouth just to see how it looks with the lower league teams. Again, it's gone down the wing. Left back and winger linked up. Great finish across goal. Next one's a penalty. Again, it's gone down the left wing. Centre mid is supporting. Finds the other centre mid and it's a great finish. They're going to get a lot of space on the edge of the box with this tactic. Right back, look how high they are. The right back's all the way in the box now. And it's a great finish again. So there's the tactic. Obviously a resounding success. Because it even made Tottenham win some trophies. Let's go! Come on! They won the league, won the FA Cup, won the Carabao Cup. They completed the English uh, treble which is beyond any Tottenham fan's wildest dreams. And the biggest surprise as well is getting Everton, who started on minus six points, into fourth, into the Champions League. Even if they didn't have that thing uh, point deduction, I think they would have finished third, which is unreal considering the ability of their squad. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see another tactic video, check out the last video and we'll catch you in the next one.